Hi guys, welcome back for another video. So today I am going to be doing a just a bit of a random video, something fun. Um, basically just trying to do turban tutorial, well turban styles with clothing items that you will f that you will find in your wardrobe for a bit of fun, just a bit of a challenge, see what I can actually achieve. I've not practiced any of these, I've not done anything with any of these, so they might not work out, but you know, let's give it a go and see. So, um, okay, so for this one, I'm thinking, let's see, let's put it on over my head like this. Okay. And then just, okay, so there's obviously the armholes there. So let's just twist the back a bit and then open that up and then tuck it in at the back maybe. This looks alright. It does look alright actually, doesn't it? And then just tuck that there. I should have taken the label out. Where's my mirror? Let me just see. Okay, oh, there's a little gap there. There's a little gap there, so I just need to fix that. That's gone now. Oh, I really like it from this side. Um, yeah. There you go, style numero uno, achieved using a dress. Um, it's like a chiffon material dress. Simple. Okay, so. Oh. That would be quite cool. I'm actually really leaving it like that. Mm, there you go, accidental style as I'm unravelling it. A bit of a thing on the side there. Okay, so that was achieved using a dress that I've never used before. Okay, so with the jeans, I'm thinking I need the volume to be at the top of my head. Let me go get my other volumizing scrunchie because I've already got one at the back but I can't be bothered to keep unraveling it. So I'll just go and get the other one. Okay, so I'll just use two so it might be a little too vol vol volumi voluminous. A voluminous. <laughs> so I'm going to use two but yeah, it might look a bit too voluminous but it's just for the sake of the video. Right, so I'm thinking get this on over my head like this. And then I'll zip it down. Zip down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we've got this for you. Um, I mean, it's a style, it's not actually that bad. It really isn't that bad. If, you, if you're after a bit of drama in your life, then this isn't actually, what am I doing? Then this isn't actually that bad. Um, but yeah, I still feel like I could do something there. Let me try putting that on back to front. Oh no! And I'll leave the volume off of it this time. Okay, let's do it back to front. Like so. Okay. And then cross the two sides round. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> so what the hell is in the leg of my trousers? It's this, I don't know how I got there. Anyway, and then put this round like this. Yes, girl, this is what I is talking about. And then take the other trouser leg and cross it over like this and tuck it in. There you go. This is more like it. 
Okay, so now we have this, which I think is quite cool. It's like more of a dramatic norm, like it's that crisscross style I do, but a bit more dramatic um, and just a bit more fun and playful. Let me just have a look in the mirror. Size check. Okay. Mm, okay. It does look just very like creative. I would potentially go out with this actually. Just push it back a bit more. Not bad. So that's style at number two because that one. yeah, that's this one with the denim jeans. Okay. okay, so we'll go for the striped shirt now, I think. Now I'll do this top here. Which should be quite easy because if you start off with it like this on your head, like that, then I think it should be quite easy really to just achieve a style. I mean you could literally, where's that bubble? Yeah. So you could literally just like tie the excess material and boom you have a style like that but just simple okay let's flatten it out there there we go style it's a style dear oh that's nice actually let me just do a little check. I always do this before I go out, y'all, because sometimes, like, you have the cutest style and then you look at it from the side and you're like, oh my god. So, just neaten the sides, and yeah. There you have that one. Um, should I ask you for the pleated trousers? Okay, and again, I'm feeling put it on like this. And then maybe just get like a bobble and tie the back. I, do I have one to hand? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, I do. Okay, so I'm just getting a bobble and just tying the back. So that it's not as loose. You might want to get one that's the same colour as the material you're using. Hmm. This is a style. This could actually be a style like this. There you go. Um, you can twist the leg like this and then tie it at the end. So you get this kind of thing. But I would just actually just leave it loose. Um, do this with it and just leave it loose. Yes, girl. See, just show you don't actually have to have scarves to achieve all these styles. Like, you can achieve these styles with absolutely anything. Okay, so that's that. Um, but you could definitely, this material is so versatile, you could definitely do loads of styles with it. You could even do like, you know, if you're going on a holiday or something and you want to wear a hat, let me, let me show you what I mean. Okay, and like you want to wear a hat, so this kind of can replicate the hair. This won't go on because I've got the massive bun on, but if you don't put like a massive volumizing scrunchie, um, so this won't go on because I've got a massive volumizing scrunchie on the back, but um, if you take that out, then you can, oh my God, again, another item that I bought and not worn, but I will wear it on the next holiday, I promise. Um, but yeah, so you can do this kind of thing with it. Um, that's really nice actually. And obviously you can just take it round to the one side if you wanted. Oh my god, I'm just giving myself like an idea for my next holiday. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is really good actually. Because it almost kind of like replicates hair. Like it's a really good dark, shiny material. Um, and you could do like create texture with it by kind of wrapping it around like this and then tucking it down like this yes I am feeling this I'm really feeling this 
Oh my god. Hey. Okay, so as you can see, you can achieve that and then you can use like a dark colour as well, like this. going on here I don't know um that would work as well but oh my god I'm so glad I did this video like yes let me just have a look at, at it on the sides as well on the back yes this really works dude I would totally rock this as a scarf style like it very much works yes okay so this is definitely my favorite um, this one, I really don't want to get makeup on it, but this inspires me, the like crochet looking bit, and then just tuck that behind my ears. And then I would just see those the rope bits I would just tie them together and just attach it with the elastic the hair bobble totally making this up as I go by the way <laughs> um, and then oh yes yeah, so drape it like that Suck that under there so you don't have any. Okay, and then just drape it, yeah. Mm, okay, not my fave, but drape it or maybe twist it a bit and then tie there. I don't even like this colour on me, like, I'm gonna take this off right now because it just. Bleh. But yeah, guys, hopefully that was a bit of a fun video. Um, it basically just shows that you can literally rock a turban, I can't get this off, you can literally rock a turban using anything, you don't have to go out and buy scarves if you don't have any, just look to your cupboard, see what you've got in there already, and just play around with it, be playful. Um, definitely that black one was my favourite, with the hat, I think that's so nice, I'm definitely going to be rocking that, so yeah. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and i'll catch you in my next video